Hello, this is Michael Grant with Applied CAX. I'm going to uh, go over how to cut a wall and not include the uh, radius or the floor. Um, as you can see here, we have a, uh, a wall and, um, and then uh, that wall connects to the floor with a radius and we're not uh, going to include this radius. So there's a couple uh, different methods to do this, and I'll show uh, both. I mean, there's even more, but here's a couple easy ways to do it. And keep in mind that once you set operations to your preferences, you can you can save those. Uh, you don't even have to necessarily make a template. You can save them in in some part that you know where where it is located, and you can copy and paste those to new parts. And basically, just reselect um, a piece of the geometry. So, um, you know, you can create your programs from any view. I'm going to uh, create, I have some saved with the right settings just for reference, but uh, I'm going to create these uh, new operations from the geometry view just to make sure I include the right geometry. So I'm going to right click the MCS and say uh, new operation and I'm going to change my type to uh, the mill planer and then uh, 2D profile wall without floor and then you know you can check you can select your program group here and your method your method is just a way of uh, setting the stock amount um, automatically it'll inherit the stock amount so if you want to if you have your operations organized into the correct method groups you can uh, adjust um, kind of globally adjust all operations um, under the semi finish with one uh, setting so I'll just say okay here and then we're going to start on the main dialog where you pick your geometry and set some of your settings I'm going to say specify wall and just select the wall. I'm not going to use automatic because I want to make sure not to include the uh, radius. And then I'm just going to say generate. And then you get an, um, a tool path that's doing just the wall. And then if you want to get uh, multiple passes and you want to uh, set the amount, that you're stepping over. Uh, you can set your path settings to constant. And I'll just, I'm in inches here, so I'll just, uh, you know, maybe set it to 15 thousandths of an inch. And if I generate now, I'll, I'll still just have one pass, but I can set, you know, how many additional passes I want. So now I have an additional pass. Um, and in this case, since I'm under the, the the semi finish group, it's leaving 10 thousandths on the part. So I'll say uh, OK. And uh, again, if I go to the methods view, I can see I'm under the semi finish, and here's where that uh, amount is coming from. OK, so I'll go back to the geometry view and we'll try a different operation. So insert operation. I'm going to go to the uh, mill contour and then we have the um, Z level. So I'll select the Z level. Sorry, just kind of looking at the other operations. Um, kind of double checking my settings here and I'll say OK. Um, I don't really need a, an extra. <clears throat> um, filter as far as what it should look at you know um, in this case because I want to cut the wall and obviously the wall is steep so just so I don't you know my preference is to set this to none so that I'm uh, not adding any additional filters I'm going to control what it cuts by just picking um, the cut area so I'm under the geometry group specify cut area pick the wall say okay and then if I generate, um, Z-Level tends to break this up into steps. 
um, and then the um, the way it's entering and, and exiting is under the non-cutting move so you can customize that but under the cut levels um, in the range area you can uh, under this cut levels under the top uh, drop down you can say only at range bottom if that's your preference and uh, then it will just do a pass at the bottom if you want um, cut levels you know you can control your cut levels here and uh, you know if you want to say you know something like an inch You get some you get two passes so you got uh, quite a bit of control there now we didn't have to set a lot of um, settings for these but again you know um, with these here uh, I'll delete them for now so it's not confusing but you know you can uh, when you're done with it I mean not necessarily when you're done but if these were like in your start part or you copied and pasted them from somewhere you can um, just drag them down you know so right now if I uh, generate one of these it won't work because it's not underneath any uh, geometry items but if I drag it under or if I had copied it from another part over here um, I didn't pick the wall yet you do have to at least pick um, what you want to cut again and then uh, generate But a trick with that, like um, if I undo that and I make sure this doesn't have any cut area, so I'm going to empty the cut area on this by removing it. So I went into, sorry, I went into um, specify cut area. And then in the bottom section, I just hit the X. Sometimes that'll be collapsed, but just hit the X and OK. So now it has no cut area. I'm going to do that to the other one. remove so one other trick you can do to to organize um, for copy and paste is under one of these groups I'm going to put it under the local MCS you can say insert geometry cut area or mill area I just want to make sure yeah mill area it doesn't matter if you bring it from planar or contour and I'll just say uh, wall And then we can pick that. Well, one of those operations is going to need a wall. The other one needs a cut area. So I'll try picking both because um, I'm not sure which operation you, you prefer um, in this case. So I'm going to pick both and see if uh, they can handle it. So here, if I was to try to generate, um, it has you know no, uh, no part geometry, no selection area. But if I drag it, under the wall and then generate it automatically picks up that wall and generates and one of the reasons that it also didn't need additional info is under the cut levels we had it only at range bottom so it just automatically finds the bottom of that wall uh, for the wall uh, without floor you know you can see it has no uh, wall geometry here just drag it under the wall, generate, uh, this one might need additional info, let's see here, I think it's mad because I have uh, I'll just do it manually here. Yeah, it didn't like that. Um, it didn't handle that um, cut area and wall area. Um, so that does mess up that operation. So here I'll, I'll fix it.
So under this uh, geometry group where I'm keeping the wall or this mill area group, I'm going to take out um, the wall because the Z level doesn't need it. Um, so I'll just to differentiate the name here, I'm going to call this uh, I guess we can do it under the view here. Z level wall. Something like that. And then I'll add another one that's just a uh, wall. And that one I'll pick the uh, just the wall. And so if you do prefer the you know the the two the this operation here the 2D profile wall without floor your geometry group needs to just have a wall and it needs to be under the the workpiece. Oh, I had selected a wall. It can't already have a wall selected. Okay, so we're going to pretend we had no wall selected and now you're keeping it in your unused items with nothing selected. And then you bring it into your new part through either copy, copy and paste or or it's already in your part in the unused items and you drag it down and then you just hit generate. Um, obviously you would need to have a cutter selected. But having your um, geometry groups uh, organized is a, is a good way to do quick copy and paste and reuse of operations and they grab what they need to grab. Uh, I know that was some extra info, but I uh, just thought I'd give some tips and tricks and on top of answering the um, issue of uh, cutting a wall with, without floor and not including the radius. Thank you.